Okay, guys, this problem is here mostly because it's all about shifting your perspectives as you work through a problem. Let's start out with a diagram of the story happening here. You've got a dude or a chick standing on the ground who kicks a soccer ball. We weren't told an initial height of the soccer ball, so I'm going to put it on the ground. That soccer ball is kicked more or less straight up in the air and comes more or less straight back down. So let's label some information that we do know right away about this situation. Well, I know an initial velocity at the beginning of this problem, and it's uh, 20 meters per second. It's conceivable, given that initial velocity, for me to find a final velocity here. It's also possible for me to find another final velocity down as the ball hits the ground. We're not going to shift perspectives yet. First question says, how fast is the ball moving at the top of its flight? In other words, what is this final velocity number here? Think about what's happening here at the apex of the ball's flight. It's not moving at all. Zero velocity. So let me modify my writing here. And I'm just going to say the velocity at the top is zero meters per second. How long until it reaches the top? Okay, now we need to do some math. What are we given? Well, we know an initial velocity We figured out a final velocity, and we know the acceleration of gravity. The unknown in this case, time. If we look at our kinematics equation, I like this one. You could solve this equation for time. It's going to be the final velocity minus the initial over the acceleration. You know all those values. You can substitute them in and solve the equation. Uh, when I worked this out previously, the answer was on the order of two seconds. So if the ball takes two seconds to reach the top of its trajectory, here's what's going on. Boop, 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 boop. Let me try that again. Boop, 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 boop. We hit the top of our flight. Two seconds. It turns out, little known, great known, I'm not sure. Here's a fact for you, though. The time to fall is the same as the time to rise. So if it took two seconds to get up to the top, it's going to take two seconds to get down to the bottom. How fast would the ball be moving when it lands? Okay, this is where we've got to shift our perspectives. Let's go back to the beginning. What do you want to define as your beginning and ending, initial and final? I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to say the initial velocity is up at the top. And I'm going to say that the final velocity is unknown. Now, I still know the time that I solved for earlier. It was on the order of two seconds. I also know the acceleration of gravity. Using that information, I can solve for final velocity. Vf equals Vi plus At. and you're done. What I wanted you to see here was how to shift perspectives. Initial and final are not always the beginning of the problem and the end of the problem.